morning friends good morning students uh, this is physics class and i am going to teach you for this semester classical mechanics before i start this topic let me introduce to you this classical mechanics its brief introduction introduction to classical mechanics well mechanics is a branch of physics which deals with motion of objects which are in motion and object at rest classical mechanics has been studied since from ancient times Newton proposed his famous laws of mechanics in the year 1687 together Newton's laws of motion say the mechanics based on Newton's laws of motion and the alternative methods proposed by dear words lagrange hamiltonian and others is called classical mechanics in newtonian mechanics what we have studied or what so far you have studied is based on newtonian mechanics here in our earlier class we have studied newton's laws of motion and their consequences so in newtonian mechanics we use the basic quantities such as force acceleration linear momentum angular momentum and so on. these quantities happens to be scalar so these quantities happens to be vector quantities and because of this the newtonian mechanics also called as vectorial mechanics newtonian mechanics or vectorial mechanics it uses vector quantities like force acceleration linear and angular momentum so other branch of classical mechanics known as analytical mechanics this is also called as alternative to the newtonian mechanics here in analytical mechanics which is proposed by dialbert say lagrange hamiltonian and others the basic physical quantities are scalars 
such as work and energy so this alternate method known as analytical method or analytical analytical mechanics very using basic quantity as scalars and they develop a dynamical equations using a systematic process of differentiation they obtain a differential equation using a differential methods of differentiation the difference between what is known as newtonian mechanics and say analytical mechanics analytical mechanics found to be superior over newtonian mechanics in newtonian mechanics we come across the vector quantities and we approach by newtonian mechanics using geometrical resolution of the quantities where for a given mechanical problem we must know all the forces involved in the mechanical problem initially one should know the number of forces involved in the mechanical problem where we can resolve them geometrically and it is found to be a difficult task it's not that easy to get all the vector quantities resolve them geometrically and arrive at the solution people like dialogues lagrange hamiltonian they have developed an alternative to newtonian mechanics using this alternative method known as analytical method where we approach a analytical approach here we apply analytical method for a mechanical problem and we get the solution of a mechanical problem in an analytical way where we use scalar quantities such as work and energy this analytical method has adequate advantages over newtonian mechanics this alternate method called as analytical mechanics is applied to larger bodies of larger masses as well as a smaller bodies which are moving with lower speed or a slower speed no doubt this classical mechanics has some difficulties that means we cannot apply this classical mechanics that is including say newtonian mechanics as well as analytical mechanics we cannot apply it to a big bodies as well as a microscopic bodies precisely to atomic level bodies or atomic particles like electrons protons or nuclear particles 
Bibles where in the year 1905 Einstein proposed his special theory of relativity he found out the constants that is constancy of velocity of light in vacuum according to special theory of relativity we find both theoretically and experimentally the speed of light in vacuum when einstein proposed his special theory of relativity and he modified say space time concept and the idea of space time concept even it is studied under classical mechanics both have agreed for this called as space time concept but einstein's theory of relativity failed to explain the concept of that is matter and radiation later on people have applied this classical mechanics except two extreme cases and they applied this analytical mechanics concept even for general theory of relativity and quantum mechanics so here 